I wasn't fighting it anymore. I was like a bit of seaweed in the ocean. And um, I thought, oh my God, we're all gonna die. I've got nothing left. So I just let go. It was beautiful. It was a perfect day. In fact, the kids were just playing on the sand um, in that little zone where the waves come. And they'd asked if they could go in, but we said, no, no, it's too dangerous. Uh, but they could go in up to their knees because it's safe going up to your knees. Just before I saw Charlie put her hand up, I had said to Don, this is one of the best days of my life. I ran down without thinking. If I had have stopped to think, I would have grabbed the boogie boards and it probably would have been a much shorter story. But anyway, I ran down to get in, to get them. And they'd been, um, they'd been playing in the shallows, but they got caught in the rip. And uh, she just was looking at me with like this horror in her eyes. I'm so sorry, Mum, we can't get out. I said, that's okay, I'll come and get you. And I could almost touch her. She was maybe two arm lengths away. She said, you know, Josephine can't, she, her feet aren't on the ground anymore. So I went to get Josephine and pull her back in and I called to Dom and he rushed in. Uh, and I would manage to grab Josephine's hand and give it to Dom because I knew I'm not strong enough. And Charlie and I will be strong together. So then I grabbed Charlie and by, just within the seconds that I grabbed her hand, I could start to feel the, the force of the ocean. We would get back to shore and where our toes would touch the sand and then the rip, the rip is not up here, the rip's down here and it just keeps knocking your feet off the sand over and over again and we'd get knocked into the ocean, knocked into the waves. And that happened over and over and over again um, but we were slowly getting sucked, sucked further and further into the dumpers and then we started getting just in that washing machine where you can't get your breath and you can't get out. I just kept fighting it. And eventually I got Charlie to where she was back to her knees. And Dom was still out in the waves and uh, um, she was holding onto my hand. And I said, don't you hold on to me, let go. And I just yanked my hand out of her hand. It was the scariest moment of my life, and the horror. I think when I was out the back, and I still didn't know whether I would survive, I also didn't know if all of them had survived. And so I remember, as I was going under, I, could, I had no more energy and I was sinking. And I thought, if Charlie didn't get out of the water, and neither did Dom and Josephine, I'm not going to fight to survive. I'd rather die with them. Saturday afternoon, I was, it was Easter Saturday. I was at home mowing the lawn. My phone vibrated in my pocket. It went off, I got a text message. Um, patient, 200 metres off Dumbogan Beach. So I said straight away to my wife, gotta go. We got up to the beach up here and Adam and Jay had the boat out. And Michelle was here getting all the um, first aid gear. And then I, Phil and I threw our life jackets on, I threw a radio on, we helped in the ATV, took it down the beach, launched it. And the waves that day, that Easter Saturday, was up to um, four metres. And so we launched the boat, um, Phil got the engine going, I contacted Surfcom and said, Ken have an IRB is in the water now, we're proceeding around. And, um, and, we, and we took off. 
We went out through a few waves, we got out into the open water and we drove it like we stole it. We held that motor flat. We ripped along to where the beach, South Beach is and turned right, came in through the break, jumped over a few waves. We started an inshore run heading south along the beach. We got down a couple of k's and then just saw a heap of people standing on the beach. Just, um, and, they, and they were just putting out their arms, out there, out there. So we, so we swung the boat around, um, came over, and well, they put us in the direction, and there was about three breakers that we, that we climbed and went through, and then, we, and then we saw Samantha straight down to our left in the water. When I finally saw that big red boat, it was like the nights of the ocean, the nights of the Southern Ocean came out in the boat, and uh, I just thought, Oh my God, I'm going to survive. It's pretty scary. I spun her around, put my arms up underneath her, pulled her into the boat, Phil grabbed the legs, got her, got her into the boat as well as we climbed up this next, next big wave. And um, she said to my kids, my kids, and we looked around and we said, no, no, your kids are on the shore. They're okay. They saved my life and I will forever be grateful for that. And um, I have thanked the club and I've thanked Tony and I want to thank Phil for risking his, their lives to save me and for their whole community coming together. You know, it wasn't just them, it was the guys that got the boat ready, it was the people that opened the club, it was Michelle and her team and the, their sons and uh, who came along you know, and the wives and partners who support them volunteering their time. Like, it's this whole community that save lives. But I was thinking, you know, they also, they also protect, they also protect a way of life that we all value. And um, so it's more than just saving lives. <laughs>